For many years, the United States, U.S., was dominant in the air with its battle-proven fighters, such as the F-15, F-16, and F-18, along with the King of the Sky, and for a long time, won the country's only fourth generation fighter in service, F-22. There was no serious answer for the U.S. fifth-generation fighter from any other competitor in the market until recent years. Now, after the troublesome development of the F-35 fighter, the U.S. wants to move above and beyond the competition. And I mean a whole new generation of fighters. Meet the next generation of air domination, the fighter jet of the future. Before delving into the sixth generation, let's take a look back at how the U.S. classified the first four generations of fighter jets. The first generation marked the advent of jet propulsion, which defined the concept of the fighter jet. The second generation was characterized by swept wings, a range-finding radar and infrared-guided missiles. The third generation focused on supersonic flight, pulse radar, and beyond visual range engagement capabilities. The fourth generation gained notoriety for introducing multi-role jets with fly-by-wire controls, emphasizing air-to-air -air combat beyond visual range and agility. Post-Cold War developments gave rise to what has been called the 4-plus or 4-double-plus generation, featuring a reduced radar signature, true multi-role capability, and advanced avionics and weapons systems. Examples include the Rafael, Eurofighter, and the Russian Su-35. Speaking of Russia, they are also working on a new MiG version known as MiG-41. The U.S. became the first country to introduce an operational fifth-generation fighter with the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor in 2005. What differentiates the fifth generation from the fourth generation is its focus on stealth capabilities. However, the disadvantages of fifth-generation aircraft are external weapons and instantaneous transport of fuel which reduces their stealth capabilities. Without full stealth capabilities, the aircraft can be considered a streamlined version of the fourth-generation jet, which is a significant drawback. The inevitability of the sixth generation after the fifth generation is recognized. Future air combat is expected to prioritize integrated systems of manned and unmanned aircraft, ground forces, satellites, or AWACS aircraft, depending on the task at hand. The integration of manned and unmanned aircraft involves a single pilot, operating multiple aircraft simultaneously. The sixth generation fighter must meet the requirements set by previous generations, including stealth capability, supersonic speed without afterburner, and the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. The U.S. Navy initiated the FAX program for the sixth generation in 2008, followed by the U.S. Air Force's next generation or tactical aircraft program in 2010. The Air Force's plans involve the development and acquisition of sixth generation fighters through the Penetrative Counteract. PCA program, intended to replace existing fighters such as the Boeing F-15 and Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor platforms. <laughs> <laughs>